That was about the lamest excuse mm -hmm. I've ever heard. I came here and did all this, now y'all need to pay me. Yeah.
salaries and their and their employees when you got other other means of doing things, you know. And I certainly hope, and I'm going to do my best to see if this thing comes for a vote. It's going it's going to be voted down, you know. I think we need to tighten the belt more. We need to look at these things and figure out what's going on, you know. Don't cover it. Don't cover that with a cheek or pull the curtains and say, "Well, it, it don't happen." But I'll just give you something to think about. Like I said, I've been there <coughs> around that department since 1967. And until I retired, I had to shut my mouth. But I don't have to do it anymore. I can tell it like it is, whether they like it or not. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll note that any time you'd like to speak on any of those things, that happens. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. I think I need to defend the sheriff's office today. Uh, it was mentioned a while ago about federal inmates. We've been approved for federal inmates since last August, I believe. Uh, we, we were inspected and, and uh, have a contract in now where the marshals can bring federal inmates to our jail. Have they brought any? We brought to you. You know, that's strictly up to them what they bring. Uh, we are. We have agreed to do that. We, we've got an agreement with the commission about uh, the money that comes in for that. Uh, as far as vehicles, uh, purchasing the, uh, the SUVs, if you look across the country, there's been studies done on the SUVs. Michigan done a study, and if I'm not mistaken, Montgomery City also done a study. Uh, we looked into it before we purchased them. The gas mileage is practically pretty close to the same, but the maintenance issue is where we're saving a lot of money. Uh, they quit making the Crown Vic, which almost every police department across the country purchased and, and maintenance issue on the Crown Vicks. We were spending anywhere from four to five thousand dollars per vehicle on maintenance issues over the years. So that's why we went to the SUVs. Uh, the maintenance on those were supposed to be a, a whole lot better. And the slush fund I'm assuming he's talking about is probably the pistol permit. Uh, we use that to buy cars, to buy equipment, blue lights, radios, send our deputies to school. All that goes back into the good law enforcement. As far as the food bill, that is going to take some legislation to pass. If anybody wants to do that, that's entirely up to, to the state. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that until legislation is passed. But that stuff felt like we were run down pretty hard there for a minute, and uh, laws changed and, and departments have changed since 1967. And we've come a long, long way. And, and I feel like we've made some pretty good decisions. And, and, and we're trying to, you know, we're cutting our gas budget. Mr. Hodges knows that. We've worked hard to do that, and we're working hard to save the mission some money. And I'd say we appreciate the work with the sheriff, and we, we work well together on the budget issues. And on those vehicles, the ones that have purchased the county pays nothing for them. That's strictly coming.